Um, Mr. Goldenberg, um, let me ask you this. Um, Ambassador uh, Joseph mentioned a little while ago um, something that I think makes a lot of sense. Um, why would the Iranians spend so much time and so much effort in developing uh, ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, uh, if they don't intend to acquire and, and build nuclear weapons? And if you can make it brief, because uh, I got a bunch of questions. Sure. I mean, I think that they started this program when they intended to build nuclear weapons, and we've been working okay, on changing Okay. At the end here especially, wasn't that one of the big things sure. that they insisted on? Um, they insisted, and, and we succumbed to this, uh, the whole idea of lifting the arms embargo, which will give them the ability to acquire additional uh, technology, ICBM technology from Russia. So, I mean, I think the, the answer clearly is they wouldn't want to proceed with it. Uh, if they didn't intend to get nuclear weapons. Um, Ambassador Joseph, would you want to touch on that briefly? Sir, I think, uh, I think you've got it exactly right. Okay. I mean, it, it only makes sense in the context of a nuclear weapons program. Right. Let me, let me follow up. You, you also s said something before which I think makes eminent sense, and that's that now that we've got this terrible deal facing us, that we need to protect our cities, um, and you've suggested that uh, we have to cons seriously consider an anti-missile shield on our uh, East Coast, um, and, and that's correct. You do support that, is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. But let, me, let me follow up on that then. Um, one of the very first things that the Obama administration did when they took office was to cancel our agreement, uh, which was a slap in the face of two of our strong allies, uh, the Czech Republic and, and Poland. Um, and that anti-missile technology uh, that isn't there now, uh, it was aimed at uh, a potential Iranian uh, missile heading in Europe's direction or our direction. And so now that they've done that, and with this agreement, it seems that they've put us very much in harm's way. Would you comment on that? I, cer I certainly would, sir. Uh, not, not only did the Obama administration cancel the third site, it canceled every single program that was designed to develop capabilities to keep pace with the threat. It canceled the MKV, the Multiple Kill Vehicle Program. It canceled the KEI, which is a boost, what was to be a boost phase interceptor. It canceled the airborne laser. It, it uh, reduced the number of interceptors, the ground-based interceptors at, at Alaska. I mean, it eviscerated the program. Thank you. Let me, let me move on if I can. Thank you. Mr. Goldenberg, um, how long was it after the announcement of this deal that we had uh, people in the street in, in Iran, including Iranian leaderships, uh, chanting uh, death to America? Look, I think that that's this leadership nobody is talking about the fact that this It wasn't leadership. very long. It right? wasn't very long. Almost immediate. We, we heard that. You also um, had overwhelming support for the agreement. Now, you have also you talked know. about snapback, mm -hmm. uh, these sanctions, that we can snap them back. Now, snap sounds like it is pretty quick. You know, mm -hmm. snap back, we got their back on. Um, Mr. Dubowitz, uh, and again, if you could keep your answer relatively sure. brief, are we going to be able to snap back uh, these sanctions? Snapback sanctions are a delusion. I could go on. Okay. I think you have answered my question there. And this 24-hour, um, you know, we, or excuse me, 20, uh, 24-day uh, thing which the administration has been pushing, like, uh, uh, which is, sounds pretty long to me uh, because you can hide a lot of incriminating evidence in, in 24 days, but it is really, I understand, a heck of a lot longer than 24 days in the real world because uh, we have to go through a whole series of things which Iran can block, uh, is my understanding, uh, either Ambassador Joseph or Mr. Dubois? Well, I, I think they certainly can. And sir, remember that this is a deviation from the standard additional protocol, which calls for 24 hours, 24 hour notice. So in the negotiations, that was ex ex extended from 24 hours to 24 days. And 24 days is just the first phase because it can continue for days or weeks thereafter. And Iran can obstruct the inspectors, and they can get, uh, get rid of a lot of the evidence uh, in that time frame, according to the IAEA. 
And it is not just 24 days, it is much, much longer because the time that it takes to snap back the U.N. resolution and then U.S. and then E.U. sanctions and have that impact is okay. much, much so How longer. long could we really realistically be talking here before you could actually get to, the, to a site and see what they are doing, potentially? I would think the way that the Iranians can play this, it could go on for months. Thank you. I yield back. This is, a, I think, just a, a terrible deal, and I hope that we look very closely at this. And I thank the Chairman for letting us look closely at this. Thank you.